Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. I'm going to start off today with a little bit of yellow on the 2 inch brush, and we'll come over here and just drop in a nice little light area in our painting, just a little. Just kind of let it blend out to about there. Now we'll switch to a 1 inch brush and grab some black and some blue. Blue and black, maybe a little bit of red. And we'll come over here and just drop in like some little cloud shapes. We'll highlight a lot in here, but right now we just kind of have to get some nice movement in the sky. So just little cloud shapes. Now, with a clean brush, we can begin blending the sky. Just using tiny little circles. Just blend up the whole sky. Now with the fan brush, we can load some white and a little bit of red. Just a little. White and red. And now we can think about highlighting some of these little clouds. Just using the corner. Now, back to a clean brush. It's that same brush we were blending with. I'll just wipe it on a paper towel. And now we can blend out the bottom of these clouds, or the bottom of the highlight, really. We're not touching the top yet, just the bottom. And then we can lift and fluff the cloud. Just lift up and go across. Now with the knife and some good dark color. This is really black and blue and a little bit of red. We can pull that out totally flat, cut across, get a little roll of paint, and maybe we'll have a big mountain right up here. Just drop it right in. Now, when your mountain is done, you can take just a, a one inch brush and pull it right out. Just grab it and pull it. Now, with some white on the knife, we can come over here and think about some nice little highlights that run right down this mountain. No pressure with the knife. Let the paint break. And we'll just highlight this big old mountain here. Now with some blue and white on the knife, we can come over here and think about a nice little shadow on that mountain. Now when you're finished with your mountain, you can take a 2 inch brush and just tap to create some mist. Just tap following the angles. Now with the fan brush and some black and white and blue, we can Come over here and think about some little pine trees that are growing right back here. Just using the corner of the brush and tapping. Now, when you're done with that, you can take a fan brush and some white and you can just clean up the bottom of that. Now, I'm going to darken that color a little bit and we can come over here and drop in a couple of little pine trees in a couple. Now with the one inch brush, we can think about a couple of little bushes over here too, just growing right around these trees. Now with the fan brush and a nice light gray, we can drop a little bit of highlight on these trees. And we don't want very much, just the tiniest little bit. But I think we would see a little bit of highlight on these little guys. We're going to have some nice close-up ones and we'll put a little bit more detail in those, but just for now this is all we need. Now with the one inch brush and some of that same tree highlight color, 
we can pop just a little bit of highlight on these bushes. Just like that. Now, with some white on the fan brush, we can just clean up the bottom of our little bushes here. Just grab a little bit of that color and just move it around. Now, with a nice dark paint on the fan brush, we can think about some nice close-up evergreens. These will be our closest, so we're just going to use the brush and tap and work back and forth. Now look, right there the paint's awfully thick, so you can just take your knife, take some of it off, reload your brush, and then we can go right over that, no problem. Now, with some brown and white on the knife, we can add just a little tree trunk in some of these. Just touch and let your knife work down. Now, back to the one inch brush and some good dark paint. We can add a couple of little bushes over here. Just pushing up with the brush. Now, with the fan brush and some white, we can drop just a little tiny bit of highlight on these trees. Just a little. Now, with some white on the one inch brush, we can drop just a little bit of highlight on these bushes here. Just a little. Now, with a one inch brush, this one is a little bit dirty. It just has some black in it. And we can grab the bottom of those bushes and just pull them out. Now, I'm intentionally making this dark. That's why I used a dirty brush. Because I'm going to put some snow over this, and I want there to be some shadows in the snow. So just pull it right out. Now with some white on the knife, we can just break a little bit of snow over the shadow there. Just like on the mountain. This will kind of make it look more like close-up snow. Now, with just a clean knife, we can come over here and just scrape in an indication of a little house up here. Now, with some good dark brown, we can just start blocking in that little cabin. Now, with a little bit of brown and white, we can draw just a little highlight on that barn. Or not on the barn, but on the cabin. We can add just a little shadow side to that. And now, with a little bit of white, we can put just the tiniest little bit of snow on the roof. Just let that knife run right down the roof. Now, back to the one inch brush, and we can pop a couple of bushes just around that cabinet, just to kind of clean it up. Now, with the one inch brush, we can just highlight those bushes. All right, well, I think we have a finished painting. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. I'm going to be making some more videos soon, and thanks for watching.